He's looking to join some elite company. A win in Game 5 sends Miami to their fourth consecutive NBA Finals. Paul George and Indiana back at home where they were so good during the regular season trying to stave off elimination. Pick this one up in the second quarter. Miami in the lead. LeBron James having trouble staying on the court. LeBron called for the charge. It's his third foul of the half. LeBron would have to take a seat. He was just one of five, two points in just over ten minutes of first half action due to the foul trouble. Shot clock winding down. Roy Hibbert gets it to George Hill and a Banker's Life Fieldhouse. The bank is open late at night. LeBron, nothing he could do about it. Only watching a spectator from the bench. He's none too pleased with George Hill's three. But Miami would respond, ending the half on a 9-2 run. Ray Allen, questionable with a hip injury. Oh, boy, was the question answered. He had 10 points in the second quarter. Miami up at the break, 42-33. First possession of the second half. Roy Hibbert, who had no points in game four. Well, here gets the rebound, the putback. But LeBron James gets called for his fourth personal foul. LeBron would stay in the game. Not too far after that incident, this would happen. Lance Stevenson, he was a nuisance all night long for the Heat. Knocks the ball away, both players dive. LeBron called for his fifth foul. So three minutes after his fourth, LeBron James picks up his fifth, and he'd have to come out of the game, at least for the moment. Indiana trailed by as many as 11 in the third quarter, so Miami still getting it done without LeBron, but here comes Paul George. He had six points in the first half. He would respond in the second. Roy Hibbert, 10 points and 13 rebounds in the game after the donut in game number four. Paul George playing some tough defense. Gets the steal off of Norris Cole and goes in for the throwdown. Indiana erasing that 11-point deficit. Part of a 16-2 run. Lance Stevenson, he uses the window as his friend. Stevenson doing some scoring, doing some talking, getting in the huddle, listening to Eric Spolster's words. Indiana was up 57-52. Now, final moments here in the third quarter. It is Paul George losing Mario Chalmers. He had 10 points in the quarter. Indiana. They are looking good after a sluggish first half. Indiana led by as many as 11 early in the fourth quarter. Uh, and Lance Stevenson, again, stealing the headlines. Putting a little extra air into the head of LeBron James. LeBron could only laugh it off. Uh, the Heat, uh, they would continue to, to fight off that foul trouble, and LeBron not shooting the ball well either. They go on a 12-2 run. Dwayne Wade makes it a one-point game. So after Miami trailed by 11, they're within one. Wade had 18. LeBron James, that's his only triple of the game, and it was huge. It tied the game at 81. Paul George says, whatever you can do, I can do better, at least for tonight. Paul George puts Indiana back up by four. Back the other way, Chris Bosh, he's had a record setting year for himself from three point territory and that would continue in game five he uses the window he had 20. now paul george in the fourth quarter was eight of ten had 21 points he finished the game with 37. So check this out with lance stevenson down players paying attention to him roy hibbert trying to rip him up george hill looks like uncontested until lebron comes up with a big block now miami trailing 91 87 going the other way rashard lewis Tremendous in the game. He hits the quarter three. He hits six from downtown after hitting zero threes in the first four games of the series. So Indiana only up by one. Try and get the ball in bounds. Shane Battier, tough defense. Ball originally called off Battier in the heat. They go to the replay, and the refs say indeed it is Indiana basketball. So Chris Bosch would foul David West. He goes to the line, made the first, misses the second. Indiana made just two of five from the free throw line in the final 15 seconds. So here it comes, down to this. LeBron drives, kicks. Bosch for the win. No good. And Indiana hangs on despite the poor free throw shooting down the stretch as the Pacers win it by three, holding LeBron James to a career playoff low, seven points on two of ten shooting. Here's a key stat. Indiana, 11 first half turnovers, just two after the break. And game six will be necessary in Miami Friday night.